Hello there, I'm James from Elite Preamp Vehicles and welcome to this video presentation for this rather fantastic looking VW Touareg. The car has a 2.5 litre diesel engine, 124,000 miles on the clock, a good service history and it has just passed its MOT. Overall the car is in good condition, it is also commensurate with its age and mileage. So please don't expect a brand new car in showroom condition. But with that said, it's my job on this video to point out anything that isn't commensurate with age and mileage. And it's, and it's your job to decide whether this car is in acceptable condition or not. So we will go through the exterior and interior of this car. Look at the paperwork, documentation, keys, and we'll start the engine as well. So approaching the car from the front, as you may imagine, there's a few stone chips and the occasional light mark. And when I do light mark, sorry, when I say light mark, that's the sort of thing I mean. Just very, very surface, scratch, fine sort of mark that we'll polish out, I'm sure, with a bit of elbow grease and teacup. Other than that, there's no nasty, horrible scratches or scuffs or dents on the front of this vehicle. Bonnet looks in good order. Small mark just there. See if I can zoom in. Just there. Again, very, very small stuff. Nice clear uh, headlight lenses. Front of the car certainly doesn't look its age. Nice chrome um, grill, front grill there, radiator grill. So moving down the near side, here we have our first alloy. Uh, as we can see, it's in good condition bar the occasional scuff here and there around the edges. Plenty of tire tread depth left there. And there's a very light lipping on that brake disc, so plenty of life left in the brakes there. Looking down this near side, all looks pretty straight from here. Again, no horrible dents or scuffs. There is a very, very fine surface scratch going just there, but nothing that won't polish out with a bit of elbow grease and T-cut. Here we have our second alloy. And as uh, the front alloy on this side, again, it's in good condition, bar an occasional little bit of scuffing just around the very lip. Plenty of tire tread depth left there. And there's a very, very light lipping on that brake disc, so again, plenty of life left there. Moving around the rear of this vehicle, again, we've got a very, very fine surface scratch just there, but it's actually, it's not, not surface scratch at all. It's whatever it is, it's gone. Uh, looking around the rear of this vehicle, again, we can't really see any damage to report here. Let's zoom in, that's a bit better. There is a small mark just on the plastic bumper trim just there, and a little small mark just there. And on this side, there is a scuff on that uh, plastic trim. So we look down this offside, it all looks pretty straight from there. Certainly no horrible dents or scuffs. Here we have our third alloy. Again, as the other side, it's in pretty good nick. Save the occasional mark here and there. There's one just on the face there. But again, nothing you wouldn't expect for a 12, 13 year old car. Plenty of tire tread depth left there. Working down this offside. Again, all looks pretty straight. Small mark just there. Again, T-cut will, if not polish it out completely, reduce its appearance. Look back down this offside, and again, as we can see, it all looks pretty straight. Nice looking car. Final alloy, and it's the same as the other three, really. It's in fairly good condition, but there's just some scuffing around the uh, lipping. Okay, if you stand a few feet back, you really can't notice it and it's in good condition. Tire tread depth. Again, we've got plenty of tread left there. Okay. 
and there's a very light lipping on that brake disc. So to sum up the exterior of this vehicle, plenty of life left in the brakes, plenty of life left in the tyres. The alloys are in good condition, again commensurate with its age and mileage. And the bodywork's in fairly good condition, bar the odd small scuff here and there. And as I said, nothing that a um, bit of elbow grease and T-cut wouldn't solve. So let's have a look through the interior. This I think is really where the car excels. It's in fantastic shape. Full black leather with uh, lovely walnut wood effect dash trim. Really great condition. Original mats, over mats there, nice and clean. This car's really comfortable to drive. Um, driven this personally for about 40 or 50 miles as I do with all the cars I retail, just to make sure everything's working. And it's a really, it's a really, really comfortable, comfortable ride. I drive a, a Range Rover myself, so I know exactly what a, a good 4x4 drive feels like. And this is, this is definitely up there. It's a really, really comfortable drive. Again, nice and clean back here. A few very, very light marks, but they're not, um, they're not through the leather, if that makes sense. They're just surface marks, so they're not holes or tears into the boot, as you'd imagine, quite a cabinet's boot on this. Uh, those seats do appear to go down as well. I can see a couple of buttons that um, will fold the seats down. Uh, we've got two working keys here. Both remote fobs work, a bit of paperwork. So we have our service schedule, probably the most important thing. Bear with me, we'll just focus this camera. Okay, so we've got our first service done here at 19,000 miles in 2007. We've got one at 32,000 miles, 2008. They were both main dealers. Another main dealer stamp here at 59,000 miles in 2010. Uh, Non-main dealer here, 83,000 miles. Haven't dated that, frustratingly. Uh, one here in 2013 at 98,000 miles. That was a uh, VW and Audi specialist, one here at 107,969, just shy of 108,000 miles at a VW specialist in 2014, one here at 117,000 in 2016, again a VW specialist, and the most recent carried out when it was in my possession, which is a full service carried out here. So we've got full service, MOT, supply and fit of two new rear springs, uh, a brake hose which was needed um, so all in all the car had 650 quid spent on it on its last service to bring it up to retail standard so it's got a fantastic service history so that's one two three four five six seven eight eight stamps i believe in total yes eight stamps so not a full service history but certainly a very good service history uh, there's the box for the uh, dvd navigation uh, the car does come with sat-nav, we'll discuss specification uh, shortly. Here we have its MOT, uh, not due uh, until next year, the 8th of August 2019. Uh, a couple of small advisories on there. Um, again, these are just advisories, they don't need doing. Um, at some point in the future, of course, they will need doing, but uh, the DVSA have seen fit to declare that they don't need to be done for 12 months. Um, you may wish to obviously get the tyre changed, but there's certainly plenty of life left, as you've seen from the uh, from the video earlier. Uh, all the original manuals here, and it's uh, original Touareg leather wallet. Nice and original stuff. We do have the logbook here as well. So we've got two former keepers, plus the one I'm covering for data protection reasons, so that's three in total, a three owner car. Okay, just move those back. As you can see, we've got our spare here. This is the uh, collapsible spare wheel. If you're not familiar with that, uh, VW and Audi operate this system on uh, a lot of their 4x4s. Uh, it, is a, uh, it, it comes with a kit that inflates at the roadside, so it's a collapsible spare wheel. Do yourself a Google search, and it will uh, pr provide plenty of information if you're um, not familiar. So there's the six disc CD changer. Uh, there's the original warning triangle back in there. So it's all got its original stuff. So looking on the uh, driver's side of this car, starting the rear actually, 
But again, it's the same as the other side. Nice, clean interior. Small marks, but they are just marks, surface marks. They've not gone through the leather, so again, no rips or tears. Nice and clean, just had a professional valet. And into the driver's side where the magic happens. Now, this does have a small tear just on the side there, but it doesn't obviously, um, uh, it's not on the actual seat itself, so it's, um, it's not gonna get any worse in that respect, but there is a little bit of a rip there. If you did want to get it replaced, uh, you can get that uh, section replaced uh, fairly inexpensively. I'd suggest around about 100 pounds would get you um, get it replaced. But overall, as you can see, this leather seat is in great condition, bearing its age and mileage. So a bit of specification, we've got electric mirrors and windows. So the electric windows are there and the electric mirrors are just there. Uh, we have our multifunction steering wheel, which controls the uh, Bluetooth hands-free and the volume, and also the cruise control. There's a cruise control there. As you can see, we're an automatic gearbox. It does have the sport function as well for more enthusiastic driving. Put the key in the ignition. Press the brake. Turn the key. Okay, so the bleeping is telling you to put your seatbelt on, which is there stopped, and it just shows that the doors are open. So there are no uh, warning lights, no engine management lights, um, no brake wear warning lights, no ABS lights or anything like that. So the car is mechanically sound, no faults whatsoever. As we can see, the sat nav is booting up here. Whilst it does that, I'll remind you of a few other things we've got. Um, there is uh, parking sensors, front and rear. So the light the um, visual light aid is there and just in the rear view camera you'll see the um, just at the back there that's where the other light um, or visual I suppose to let you know when you're getting closer to the uh, car behind you or in front of you as you can see sat nav is working she's booted up perfectly From summer sale, explore the wide range. As we can hear, radio all works. That's just a bit of storage up there. Glove box, cup holders, which bizarrely are uh, an optional extra on this car, I believe. Um, a bit more storage there, auxiliary input, air freshener. Uh, the air condition blows nice and cold, that all works. And of course, the heart of this beating vehicle is this two and a half litre V6 diesel. Which, as you can hear, ticks over beautifully. No knocks, no rattles, no squeaks, bumps, or other nasty noises. As I mentioned previously, I've driven this car personally for 40 miles. It's a decent long test drive and it drives without fault. It's a really, really lovely, comfortable drive. Mechanically, the car wants for nothing. It's very strong mechanically. And as you've seen, the interior of this car is in really, really good condition, as is the exterior. Bearing in mind, it is a 12, 13 year old car with around 124,000 miles. It certainly doesn't look or drive like one. So it's an awful lot of car for the money. Uh, one thing I should know if you've got uh, if you went out, if you've got keen eyes, that isn't any sort of a leak. I've just had the car washed, so that is because the car is on a camber, uh, moving from left to right here. That is just the water from the valet running off. So uh, please don't worry. That is not. Um, it may even actually be a puddle, as you can see. There are other puddles around here where the have not dried out. So it's either where the car has been it's uh, been valeted and the water running off, or it is just a, an existing puddle. So please don't think that that is. Um, anything untoward because it is not okay i hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it's helped you make a buying decision whether this car is likely to be for you or not thanks for watching and i hope to show you this car very soon